ever pondered about the first creatures to roam this earth? The answer might surprise you. Life, as we understand it, made its grand entrance around 3.8 billion years ago, initially as simple organisms. These humble beginnings of life persevered for billions of years until a sudden burst of diversity occurred, a phenomenon we refer to as the Cambrian Explosion. This marked the emergence of complex, multicellular creatures, a stark contrast to the simplistic life forms that dominated the Earth until then. Interestingly, prior to this explosion, the Earth was practically devoid of multicellular animals, painting a picture of a pre-Cambrian world dominated by microscopic life. This transition from the Precambrian to the Cambrian era was, for a long time, shrouded in mystery. But what happened between the Precambrian and the Cambrian? Let's unearth this mystery together. The year is 1946, in the rugged landscapes of Ediacara, South Australia, a discovery that would change our understanding of life on Earth is made. Nestled within the mountainous terrain, well-preserved fossils are unearthed from ancient rock strata their origins shrouded in mystery. At first glance, the rocks of Ediacara seem unremarkable, their true significance hidden beneath layers of geological time. But these seemingly ordinary rocks hold an extraordinary secret. They are the chronicles of our planet's distant past. Initial analyses of the fossils yield more questions than answers. The organisms preserved in stone belong to no known geological era, Similar creatures had been spotted in other regions, but they had been attributed, somewhat uncertainly, to the Cambrian fauna. The mystery deepens, the riddle of these ancient organisms remains unsolved, their true origins concealed in the strata of Idiacara. But as further investigations are conducted, the puzzle pieces slowly begin to fall into place. Through a combination of stratigraphic, paleontological, relative and radiometric dating studies, a startling revelation is made. The organisms discovered at Ediacara did not originate from the Cambrian era as initially thought. Instead, they hail from a time even more ancient, a period previously unknown to science. The chemical composition, texture and stratification of the rocks provide a clear indication. These geological formations date back to a time between 635 to 541 million years ago. We've stumbled upon a hidden chapter in Earth's history, a bridge between the Precambrian and Cambrian eras. The era, now known as the Ediacaran period, may be a recent discovery, but it holds within its grasp the very dawn of life on our planet. The fossils of Ediacara are not just remnants of ancient organisms, they are the echoes of the first complex life forms, the whispers of our planet's primal past. These fossils, it turns out, are from an era now known as the Ediacaran period, the very cradle of life on Earth. The fossils from Ediacara were not just any fossils. They were the key to unlocking the mysteries of the Precambrian era. An era, mind you, that spans four billion years, the earliest and longest in Earth's history. Yet, it was also the least understood, with scant direct evidence from this remote time. But the discovery of the Ediacaran fossils changed all that. The Ediacaran fossils were like pieces of a grand puzzle, providing insights into the Precambrian Superon, the time when life on Earth was just beginning to take shape. They offered a snapshot of a time when the planet was undergoing significant changes, with life transitioning from simple single-celled organisms to more complex multicellular entities. These fossils also helped shed light on the so-called Cambrian Explosion, a period marked by a dramatic burst of evolutionary changes. The Ediacaran fossils provided evidence of life before this explosion, helping scientists understand the slow, steady progression of evolution that set the stage for this rapid diversification. The fossils, with their bizarre and unfamiliar forms, were nothing like the life forms we are accustomed to today. They were soft-bodied organisms, some resembling modern-day jellyfish, others like strange, frond-like creatures. These were the pioneers of multicellular life, the forerunners of all animals, including us. But the fossils did more than just fill in the biological timeline. They also gave us clues about the environment of the Precambrian era. The fact that such a diverse range of organisms could exist suggested that conditions on Earth were conducive to complex life much earlier than previously thought.
the Adiacaran fossils have therefore significantly advanced our understanding of the history of life on Earth. They are a testament to the resilience and adaptability of life, providing a glimpse into an ancient world that was teeming with a variety of organisms, each playing their part in the grand tapestry of life. These fossils opened a window into an era that was previously shrouded in mystery. They allowed us to travel back in time and witness the dawn of complex life on our planet, forever changing our perception of Earth's history. But the impact of the Ediacaran fossils was not confined to Australia. It was a revelation that echoed around the world. As the study of these peculiar fossils continued in Australia, a parallel discovery was made in Charnwood Forest, England. The discovery was of a fossil that was strikingly similar to those unearthed in the Ediacaran. This fossil, known as Charnia Masoni, was a testament to the existence of Ediacaran lifeforms outside of Australia. The discovery of Charnia Masoni was a turning point in our understanding of the Ediacaran period. It was a clear indication that the Ediacaran era was not localized to Australia, but spanned across the globe. It was also the first ever fossil of a Precambrian organism to be found in the Northern Hemisphere. But the trail of the Ediacaran did not end in England. Similar fossils were unearthed in various parts of the world. From the sandy deserts of Namibia to the icy terrains of Russia, the Ediacaran fossils emerged, each time affirming the global nature of this ancient period. These discoveries sparked a frenzy of paleontological exploration and research. Scientists from different corners of the world embarked on quests to uncover more about this mysterious era. The global nature of the Ediacaran period was becoming increasingly evident, and the world began to realize the significance of these ancient life forms. But the discoveries were not just about the fossils themselves. They were a gateway to understanding the conditions and events that led to the Cambrian explosion, one of the most significant evolutionary events in Earth's history. The global nature of the Ediacaran period was a testament to the fact that the conditions that led to the Cambrian explosion were not localized, but were present all over the globe. So, what started as a local discovery in the rugged terrains of South Australia, turned out to be a global phenomenon that reshaped our understanding of life's early history on Earth. These discoveries proved that the Ediacaran period was not just an anomaly, but a global phenomenon. So, what do the Ediacaran creatures tell us about life on Earth? These ancient organisms, frozen in time, provide an invaluable snapshot of a world coming alive. They are our most direct link to a time when life on Earth began to diversify and evolve into complex, multicellular forms. A time when the first animals began to appear, paving the way for the intricate web of life we see today. The Ediacaran creatures were the pioneers of life as we know it. They were the trailblazers, the first to break away from the simplicity of single-celled organisms. In their strange and varied forms, they explored the possibilities of what life could be. They crawled, they burrowed, they floated, and in doing so, they set the stage for the Cambrian explosion, a period of rapid evolution that would see the emergence of most of the major groups of animals. But perhaps the most fascinating aspect of these creatures is what they tell us about evolution itself. The Ediacaran period was a time of experimentation, of trial and error. Some of these ancient creatures may seem alien to us, their forms unlike anything we see today, but in their oddity, they reveal the unpredictable, ever-changing nature of evolution. They remind us that life is not a linear path, but a branching tree full of dead ends and unexpected turns. The legacy of the Ediacaran creatures is not just in the fossils they left behind, but in the living world around us. They were the first to venture into uncharted territories of life, to push the boundaries of what was possible. And in doing so, they laid the foundations for all the diversity and complexity of life we see today. The Ediacaran creatures in all their strangeness help us understand our own origins and the long fascinating journey of life on this planet. They remind us that life is a story of constant change and adaptation. A story that began billions of years ago and one that is still being written today.